The theme for the Focus Right Conference 2012 is Pivot Point. Travel, tourism, and hospitality, the world's third largest industry at 9% of global GDP, has been jolted by dizzying advances in technology, voracious appetites for mobile and social, fundraising, M&A, and new threats. All along the industry's value chain, there is an increasingly urgent call for strategic realignment because staying the course or tweaking are not sufficient. In other words, many of us are at pivot point. The call to pivot knows no boundaries. It applies equally to daring upstarts and media darlings, local players and global powerhouses, private businesses, and public enterprises. In the context of this transformed marketplace, the pain of embarking on a critical course correction may pale in comparison to the cost of not pivoting. Many travel companies know they need to pivot, but lack the fortitude to do so. Backed by popular demand, let's take a look at travel volume versus value. We welcome two new public companies, Kayak and an independent trip advisor. Congratulations, Steve and Steve. Expedia continues to lead the pack in gross bookings through the end of 2011, but that will narrow substantially by the end of this year. Despite predictions it would not recover quickly from its third quarter price plummet, Priceline has spectacularly rebound. It retains an insurmountable lead in market cap at $31.4 billion US. More than Expedia, Amadeus, TUI, Concur, and Delta Airlines combined. And now, let's turn to the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Priceline acquiring Kayak just a few months after its long-awaited IPO. For starters, anyone here who says they saw that coming is a liar. Kudos to Jeff and Steve. This will be a fascinating deal to watch unfold. Maybe Kayak Inside Priceline will be that elusive next growth monster. The tectonic plates of politics and power are on the move while technology changes rapidly. New digital doodads become obsolete in just months. Our world, our businesses, and our lives are being rearranged in ways we don't fully understand. The past is becoming an increasingly poor predictor of the future. All of this explains why the need to pivot is on the rise.